<laughs> yes, love it, love it. This is, this is, this is, this is what he wants to do. This whole conversation challenge the mind to the Trust. Bible in the book of uh, Romans chapter twelve, verse two. It says, "Do not conform your, uh, your 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 mind to the ways of this world, but transform, renew, change the way you think your mind." Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We're challenging people not to just do things and not think about it, but to think about it. God created us for dignity, respect, and honor, to give it to Him. So we're going to keep talking to people. That's Kevin. Dr yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, y'all got a few minutes? Y'all have a few minutes? Okay. Y'all got a few minutes, guys? Uh, what for? Just a just few questions. We're Christians. Right, just, yeah, just open dialogue. Yes. Open. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> so if I me, me. offered y'all, okay, the whole the whole basis, the whole premises for the last twenty years. Do okay. you mind we record you guys? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, the whole okay. premises, the whole premises in behind the LGBT, whatever. You know, okay, the gay, is that the gay agenda? Basically, what people call the gay agenda. Okay, yeah. I know there's an argument about that, but anyhow. Okay, so if I offered you a hundred dollars right today. Prove to me, through science, out of shadow of a doubt, that we know where homosexuality comes from. Science, science doesn't prove anything without a shadow of a doubt. That's kind of the point. Okay, okay, okay. Things, things that are absolute proofs is kind of a red flag because there's no way you can actually know anything absolutely. Is that a treat? I mean, you're just flying. Is that a tree? <laughs> we've, all, we've, all agreed, we've all agreed that it's a tree, but we also only believe that because we've agreed on it. What is it besides the absolute? Take take that one out and give me something else that was absolute. Something else that is absolute. That is right here. No, this right here. Great. You're Change. asking the wrong guy. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Because you do what you've done. You made an absolute statement about the absolute absolute truth. You said you said absolutely. There's nothing absolute. That's an absolute statement. So that means that you have to admit that you're wrong and that can be absolute. May I give you a, an example? No, I, I actually like that example. Okay, thank you. May, may I shake your hand on that one? May I shake your hand on that one? Okay, sure. Because I was going to let you know we're friendly. Here's what I want to talk to people. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, he got he got some coffee. I, 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 yes. We can change the phone for me, dude. Thank What's your you. Name? Justin. Justin. Nice to meet you, Justin. And can we get some elbow? There you go. Okay, yeah. now see. So what, what I was cha I'm challenging people to think here, right? Yeah, so that statement. So I'm, I'm gonna take a very simple way. Do you guys drive a vehicle? Yes. Okay. When you come to a signal light, what does red means? What? Stop. Stop. It means that you're supposed to stop. <laughs> does that, is that true or false? Would you say is that absolute or no? Or you uh, just made it up? It's absolute. Oh, okay. In that we've agreed upon it. Okay. Who However, agreed upon it? Doesn't mean that we will stop at it. Now, I didn't say will. I said what is it? That's a difference. Okay. Now what will you do? What is it? What is it? By law, it's symbolic language. Okay. It's not, okay. There we go. The law determines what you do. Correct. I could also uh, decide to run a stop sign. You can. You can choose to, but we're not talking about your choice, right? Okay, we're not talking about your choice, we're talking about the absolute or what it is. What it is. So I'm going to say it again. So red means what? All the stop typically. What the typically? What, <laughs> give me in other ways it doesn't mean stop. Well, maybe there's a culture. No, you said maybe. We're talking about what we see. You know, you, you, are you American? Yes. Okay, in America, the red, uh, uh, the signal light of stop red means what? Stop. Okay, what it means? What does it mean? In America, it means stop. Okay, what does it mean? It Come on, be honest. To stop. Be honest from the heart. I like you. Be honest with the heart. What does it mean? Expect to stop. Does it mean expect to stop or, or does it mean stop? Well, it's what, if you, what if you didn't stop? You was expect to stop and didn't stop. Will you get in trouble for it? Only if you're caught. No? I'm telling you, if a police stand right there. Oh, uh, only if they're feeling like catching you for it. So you based on feelings now? Boy, you twisting nature. I like you, but you can't get right. Can you, can you decide, can you decide on Monday, I, I want red to mean go. Can you change that? You can't change you can. it in other people's minds, but your perception is what matters. So I'm gonna say it again. Can you change it for everything across the board? No. Can Unless you change it? Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. You stay, stay with the same. That's good. You next, sir. <laughs> Can you change your mind? Can you say today is Monday? Today will be Red Go Day. Can you do that? To myself, yes, I can do that. And if you act upon it, will there be a consequence? Of course there will be. Okay, let me get to you, sir. I like it. You already know my okay. answer. Right. Can you change it with your mind truthfully with all your heart? Oh yeah. And what happened? But, but, what happened when you break you the law? What happened when you break it? If you agree that you can sir. change it, that's an absolute, right? 
Sir, no? That means you're trying to play the law. Well, everybody plays the law whenever they can. Once again, is that right or wrong? Uh, it depends on what law it is. See, this is where we do the absolute. We, we want to we wanna bend and twist absolute, but we know it in our minds that we have to slow down, we got to go, we got to stop. You guys are intelligent. Why are you playing with me like that? Okay. Right. We all intelligent. I'm, I'm going to stop playing with you. We all intelligent, okay? I'm, I'm going to talk to you seriously. But we're trying to change things that's already been established and we know this is the right way, but we keep trying to change it. Why? Just so we don't have to obey something. Let's be honest about the, about, about the thing. There are absolutes in there, but people are trying to twist it based on their own personal feelings and experience. Let me, let me ask you that question. Let me ask you a question. Can two men produce a baby? No. Can you change that? Well, can you change that with your mind? Well, actually, you have to change what you I'm going to ask you, sir. Man. Can you change that with your mind? In a way. <laughs> okay, now, he got in a way. Besides. Yes. <laughs> What's the yes. first book that told us that the earth was a circle? I don't know. You don't know? Is it the Bible? Did it say a sphere, a circle? Good. If you go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, begin to find out. It says that he that sits upon the circle of the earth. How did he know that? Okay. How can he know that? Oh, you know what? Let me ask you. Do you like science? Oh, I got something for her. Right. Do you like science, ma'am? Do you like science? Uh, pretty much, pretty well. Do you like science? Do you like science? Oh, what I if I? Lie. What I if I? One book on astrophysics. What if I can show you a, a? There's a book that shows you science in the Bible that the science actually confirmed the Bible to be true. Will you accept that book? I would read it. Would you read it? And if it, if it, if it shows it, will you accept it and believe it? Because we want to say, because the Bible was spoken first, science came later, proved the Bible to be right, that's the verification. Okay, let's science. jump back a little bit. You come to me and say, Kevin, listen, you don't need to be dipping because that's bad for you. Right, and the Bible like says that. that your body is a temple of God. Yes. If I got mad at you and said, oh, man, no, you need to go on, then what would that make me as being a Christian? Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.